this is going to be a version of the Tibetan rites. It takes a few minutes and it's so energizing. When I don't have time for yoga, this is what I do. Come join me. Let's go right into child's pose. Big toes touching. Stretch your arms forward, please. Relax your forehead. And just go back to your breath. Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Letting go of any worries, any fears, any doubts, and just filling yourself up with faith. Now here we're going to go right into downward dog. Straight arms, straight legs. And then we're going to go right into upper dog. Come onto your tippy toes. Spread your collarbones. And look up. And downward dog. Returning back to your breath. Straight arms, straight legs. And then we'll go back to our second upper dog. And our second downward dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Then we're going to go into our third upward dog. And our third downward dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Now we're going to go into our fourth upward dog. And our fourth downward dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Straight arms, straight legs. Our fifth upward dog. And our fifth downward dog. Straight arms, straight legs. Our sixth upward dog. Sixth downward dog. Our seventh upward dog. And our seventh downward dog. Our eighth upward dog. And our eighth downward dog. Our ninth upward dog. Our ninth downward dog. Our tenth upward dog. Our tenth downward dog. Our eleventh upper dog. And our eleventh downward dog. And then come into child's pose. I think I counted that correctly. You want it in Tibetan rites, you're supposed to really be, you can Google different versions of Tibetan rites. It's spelled R-I-T-E-S, Tibetan rites. I've been doing them for years. If I don't have time for yoga, this gives you a lot of energy and they're mostly back bends. So they're really great to do in the morning or afternoon for energy. And you want to work up to doing 22 upward dogs and 22 downward dogs. Today we're just doing 11. The next pose is camel pose, child's pose. So here, you're just going to go ahead and bring your hands by your buttocks. I like being on my toes. Bring your buttocks flush down and grab your heels. Now, if you can't grab your heels, just keep your hands on your buttocks. So you go into uh, camel pose and child's pose. So that's one. And then you go into two, camel pose. Child's pose. Camel pose. This is number three and child's pose. Continue with your breath. This is number four. Grab your heels if you want. Return back to the breath. 
four and five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. Ten and eleven. Remember, you can work up to twenty two. I like stretching my arms forward, and the next one is table pose. So you go into bent knees, feet hip distance, straight arms, and you go into lifting. Look up. And then you bring your buttocks through. You can bring your hands on blocks. One, go back, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, breathe, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then from here, you, again, you can work up to 22. And again, these are versions of the Tibetan rites. I skipped the first pose, which is spinning, because it makes me dizzy. So this is the last pose of the Tibetan rites, where you lie down, bring your arms by your sides and flip your feet over, and then come back down and touch your toes. One, flip over. Two, almost done, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, more runners, ten, and eleven. And that's the Tibetan rites. It's very energizing, very energizing. If you don't have time for yoga, this is what I do at home when I don't have time for a full practice. And it just gives me so much energy. Back bends are exhilarating, create tons of energy, and just my favorite. They're called the Tibetan rites, R-I-T-E-S, and work up to 22. Upward dog, downward dog, upward dog, downward dog, camel pose, child's pose, camel pose, child's pose, and then table pose through your arms, and then plow pose, forward bend, plow pose, forward bend. So there's only four uh, poses. The first one I skip, which is twist turning 21 times. So give that a try and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for joining me. Mwah. Bye for now.